Hi, in this video I want to take you through a tour of a new Dreamweaver extension from us called Themeit. Uh, Themeit is made for designers and developers using Dreamweaver um, and it'll let you easily and quickly update your CSS colors and images that are on any page. So instead of having to hunt down uh, where all your colors and images are defined in your CSS or in your page, uh, we present you with an interface that uh, lets you quickly and easily change these things without having to go into the code. So let me start off the demo uh, by being in Dreamweaver here. And uh, I have a page open from one of our uh, solutions, uh, PowerStore. This is the home page of uh, PowerStore 3. And uh, let me show you Themeit. So I'll go to Modify. Theme it. And here we are in the, the theme it interface. So the first thing I want to show you is the preview pane. And this preview pane shows you a screenshot of the current page that you're working on. Um, over here, what you'll see is all of the colors that it has found as part of this page. So what Themeit does is it looks on the current page, any CSS files that are attached to the page, or any uh, PHP pages that may be included with the page. It actually looks at all the unique colors and sees what classes are associated with that color. So you can see that this color has all these classes associated within the CSS. So an interesting thing to do here, uh, and, and you may have uh, recognized this uh, interface from uh, CSS Sculptor and some of uh, our other CSS design products. Really what this is uh, allowing you to do is to quickly change my color scheme, um, but also give me uh, suggestions on how to do it. So we have um, you know, mathematical equations and some uh, common practice ways to change your color that we've included with Themeit. You can see them here. Um, another cool way to do it is to actually use a, an interesting feature called Tweak It. So you can see here is the color wheel, and we're over here on the blue end of the spectrum. So if I want to change my page to, let's say, the orange side of the spectrum, um, it's about you know 180 degrees away on the color wheel. So what I do is I put in 180. I say tweak it. And what you'll see is that it pushed me over towards the orange uh, color selection. So that's a really easy way for me to change everything. And what you'll notice is that it actually went through and changed all of my colors in here. Um, and if I click finish, what it'll do is actually update the CSS pages or any uh, color that it finds in the code of the page as well. So I don't have to actually go into the code to change any of these colors. What I can do is lock some of these colors. So I can click the lock icon. And as I change uh, some of these values, uh, either using Tweak It or by doing any of these color suggestions, this color won't change. Another way to pick your color is to use the color importer. So I'll go here. Now I can sample a color from an image. And this was, uh, if I open up my folder browser, I can just go to an image and it'll load it up in here. Another cool feature is to actually load up colors from a website. So let's say I wanted to use a color from the Web Assist website. I would type in the URL of Web Assist, hit apply, and a preview of the Web Assist site comes up. So let's change, say I want to change uh, the top color here. I'd use the color picker. I'd go over, and let's say I want to use uh, this red here, or this green, let's say. Pick the green. You'll see that it changes it up here. I go back to the preview, and you'll see that it changed anything associated with those classes. So that's an easy way to sample from a website. Another interesting thing that you can do here is to change um, the images. Um, and if I go to Manage Images, here in the Manage Images interface, you'll see that Themeit uh, gives me a list of all the images that are on the page. Uh, it doesn't matter if the image is inline uh, in the HTML with an image tag or if it's a CSS uh, image. Uh, Themeit will pick it up. Um, so a cool thing to do here, so you can see that this is a picture of the shoe that was is uh, right here. So one cool thing I can do is I can actually edit it um, by clicking on the fireworks button. Now this button is dynamically uh, shown for me because I have fireworks installed. Um, it'll actually show you whatever your default image editor is. So if I click it, so it opens up the uh, PNG in uh, fireworks. And so I can edit it. Uh, let me change the... Uh, Just colorize it, click OK, and I've changed it. And once I save it, I can go back to theme it, refresh, 
and you'll notice that my preview has updated and I've just changed the color of my image. So it's a really good way to link to your image editor and actually uh, you know, manipulate your images while you're working on uh, the actual image itself in context of the page. Um, so I'm going to go find another image to show you. So I'm going to find uh, this exclamation point image and replace it. And you'll see that this is the exclamation point that I'm talking about. Um, what you'll notice is that this is actually a uh, image that is in a CSS class. So I don't need to know what the class really is or um, where it is in the CSS. All I need to know is that I want to change this image. And since I'm going towards more of an orange uh, background, I'm going to switch it out, click on the uh, folder icon, and then I'll browse to my new image, click OK. And you'll see that it's updated uh, the image in my preview. And since it's CSS, uh, you can see that it's sort of repeating and tiling. So I can say no repeat, add that CSS property. And you can see that it's updated uh, so that the image isn't repeating. So I'll click Finish. And now that I'm back in Dreamweaver, what you've seen is uh, I've changed the entire color scheme of, of my page. I've uh, edited and changed uh, an image that is uh, actually in the HTML of this page. And I've gone ahead and changed uh, an image that is a CSS property uh, of a class. And I didn't touch any CSS, didn't touch any of the HTML. I just really uh, pointed and clicked to what colors I wanted and you know what images I wanted to update. So this is a really nice and easy way for me to update uh, my color or my images on any page that I'm working on. Uh, these pages can be the cus custom pages that, uh, that I create on my own, or they can be pages uh, that are created with uh, some of our other uh, WebAssist extensions. Um, if I was to do this site-wide, um, what I would do is, is actually work on my Dreamweaver template file using Themeit. So as I made changes to my DWT or my template file, um, it would update all the other pages that were uh, children of that template file. So the last feature I want to show you is the ability to revert my uh, last changes if I don't like it. So let's say I've done all this and I just want to go back to where I was before. Uh, I can go back into Themeit. And I can click on the revert button up here. Themeit will ask me if I want to confirm the revert. I click OK. And I've reverted back to the page as it was uh, when I started. The only uh, difference is that uh, since I edited this image uh, directly, um, that image didn't change. But all the other CSS and all the other uh, manipulations that I made uh, are back to what they were before. And I can click Finish to save everything out. OK, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can find out more about Themeit on our website, www.webassist.com. Hope you enjoyed the feature tour. Thanks a lot for watching.